Hi, I'm Randy Moy. I'm the curator of zoology at the Manitoba Museum, and this is a grizzly bear. This is its skin and skull, a three-year-old animal from uh, northern Manitoba. These are getting a lot of press over the last few years because they're becoming more frequently sighted along the coast of Hudson Bay. You might be surprised to know that grizzly bears were actually seen fairly frequently in the Winnipeg area about 200 years ago. In early journals of fur traders around the 1800s, we have a lot of records of grizzly bears in the area. So this is an example of a page out of Alexander Henry the Younger's fur trade journals for the Northwest Company when he worked for them uh, in the early 1800s. And this is a chart that shows that they were getting grizzly bear skins coming through some of their trading posts just south of Winnipeg. This one is from the Reed River, which is, we now call the Razo River. But we have a lot better evidence than this that we have down in the Prairies Gallery that we'll go down and show you far better evidence than just what we find in these journals. So here we are in the Prairies Gallery in front of the Brockenton site. This is a First Nations historic site uh, that was a bison kill area. And you can see that there's a lot of bison bones here, but we can find a lot of other taxa that were following the bison and around these areas. Uh, this site is about a thousand years old, maybe 1200 years old, and there were wolves and grizzly bears. So this is actual physical evidence of grizzly bear in southern Manitoba. And one of the most impressive pieces of physical evidence we have for grizzly bears in southern Manitoba is from just near Austin, about 140 kilometers west of Winnipeg. A farmer, while plowing his field, found a grizzly bear's skull, and this is that specimen on display here. So along with the grizzly bear, we have a lot of other animals that you might not expect used to live in southern Manitoba. And this case here in the end of the Prairies Gallery gives you an introduction to some of those animals, things like the kit fox, the whooping crane, and of course, bison.